Rose from Tribe Art Studio and welcome to our paint along video of this ice cream painting. So what we're going to need for this painting is a canvas or if you don't have a canvas some paper, um, an easel but if you don't have an easel you can also paint flat on your table and then we're going to need all the colours of the rainbow. So these are poster paints. We're going to need white, brown, blue, green, purple, red, orange, pink and yellow. But if you don't have all these colours, you can make purple by mixing red and blue together. Um, if you don't have orange, you can make orange by mixing red and yellow together. Um, if you don't have pink, you can mix uh, red and white together to get some pink. You're also going to need a jar of water for washing your brushes. You're going to need some paint brushes. So for this one, we're using a big brush and a smaller brush. You'll need a palette for your paint or a paper plate if you don't have a palette, a pencil and a cloth or some kitchen roll for drying your brushes. So let's get started. So to start off this painting, we're going to use our pencil to draw our ice cream on the front first. So we're going to start with the top of the ice cream and we're going to make a circular, half circular shape. Then we're going to add some wavy lines along the bottom and we're going to move on to our next scoop of ice cream. So this one is slightly bigger underneath it. And this time we're going to do wavy cloud-like lines all around until you reach the other side of underneath this scoop. And then our next scoop is going to be bigger as well. So again, we're doing these kind of cloud shapes, wavy lines to make cloud shapes. until we have three clouds sitting on top of each other. And now we're going to put in our cone. So our cone is a triangular shape. So we're going to bring it almost down to the bottom of our canvas. And then we're going to give the, this scoop of ice cream here is going to be melting a little bit. So we're going to give it some teardrop shapes of ice cream melting off of it. And maybe a little puddle down here of where the ice cream has melted. So next we're gonna move on to painting it. So now we're gonna move on to painting the background. So we're gonna start off with blue first. So I'm using my bigger brush this time and I'm taking some blue on my brush and we're going to make a rainbow background. So our blue is going to come up and down like this and we're only going to bring it down about this far for now. So you're going to go all the way across your canvas and careful not to paint over your ice cream. And don't forget to paint your edges. So don't worry if you get a little bit on your ice cream because we are going to be adding paint on the ice cream as well and it will cover it.
So now we're going to move on to our next colour. And our next colour is green. And I'm going to wash off my brush. And then I'm going to dry it with my cloth, but you don't need to dry it too much. A little bit damp is okay. So now we're going to go with green. And we're going to bring it down about the same amount as our blue. And you can blend those two into each other slightly if you like, so they can come into each other. And again, carefully painting around our ice cream. Now we're going to change colour again. So next we're going with yellow. And I'm washing off my brush. And again, drying it. And I'm just taking some yellow on my brush. And coming down again about the same amount as we did with these two colours. So we're creating a lovely rainbow background. So you can blend your two colours together. Your yellow and green. And then they kind of give this soft effect so we're just we're not using too much paint on our brush here and we're just going up and down and we're kind of blending the two colors together and then we're going to move on to our next color when you're happy with that So now we're moving on to our next colour and I'm going with orange this time and again we're bringing it down about the same amount I'm careful not to paint over our cone or any of your ice cream And just carefully painting around the drips of the ice cream also. And again, you can blend these two colours into each other. So you're just lightly going up and down with your brush. Just very, very softly. You can even add a little bit more yellow on your brush there and it'll kind of blend it in a bit better. So now we're going to move on to our next colour and I'm washing my brush again. Drying it off and this time I'm going to use some pink. painted we're going to paint in this very top um, scoop of ice cream 
So we're going to uh, give this a kind of um, a creamy sort of colour. So we're going to start off with some white. I'm still using my big brush here. We're starting off with a little bit of white on the side and then just a very, very small, small amount of brown into your white to give it a, a sort of a very light chocolate colour nearly, creamy kind of colour. And we're going to paint that all in this colour. So with your smaller brush, you can go around the edges. Make sure that your background is dry first. You can go around the edges and kind of clean that up a little bit. And give it a smoother edge. So your paint should be covering over your pencil lines at this point. So now we're going to paint in the next scoop of ice cream. So this time I'm going with purple and I'm using my bigger brush. And we're just going to Paint all that in, in the purple first. So you can roughly paint it in first and then we'll go around the edges with our small brush. So now we're going to paint our third scoop of ice cream and this one is going to be a mint ice cream so we're going to mix some green and white together so I'm going to start with white on the side always starting with the lighter colour first and then I'm going to take some green and I'm going to mix the white and green together until you get the minty kind of colour that you're looking for. And I think I'm happy with that colour now. So I'm going to use my big brush again to paint this in. Just roughly painting it in. And then we'll fix up the edges when we're done. So now I'm just taking my smaller brush and I'm going to fix up my edges. So we're just going around the edges. And making our edges kind of a little bit more defined. So again, we're going to make some lighter areas in this scoop of ice cream. So we're just going to take some white on our brush. I haven't washed it. And we're just bringing that white all from this side over here. And you're kind of swooshing your paintbrush to give it that effect of ice cream. And then you can also take a little bit of dark green, just green on its own on your paintbrush, not too much, and blending it over this side.
smaller brush, we're going to paint in the little drips of ice cream that have fallen off the side. So we're using the lighter green that we made up to make this color. And I'm using my small brush this time. So next we're going to paint in our cone. So we're going to start off with white again on the side and we're going to add brown, just to make your brown a little bit lighter. With my big brush, and I'm going to paint all of that in, in that colour. So again, I'm going to fix up my edges with my small brush. I'm just going to go around my edges to make sure they're all quite defined. And there we go. So now we need to dry all of our cone. So I'm going to use a hair dryer to dry mine, but you can also let it dry naturally at home for a little while. Now that my canvas is dry, I'm going to add some chocolate syrup to the top scoop of ice cream. So I'm using my small brush and I'm just taking some brown and we're going to make a wavy line to give the effect of chocolate sauce dripping down. And then we're just going to fill in all this on top. Now we're going to give our scoops of ice cream some highlights. So I've washed off my brush and I just have some white on my brush. And I'm just going to give the edges a little swoosh of white here and there give it that more 3D kind of effect. I'm also going to do some on the top one and some on our mint ice cream. So now it's really starting to look like a real ice cream. And on our cone, we're going to give the waffle effect. So we're going to do some white lines, just like this. Across our cone. I'm also going to go around the edge of my cone with a darker brown, but I'm not going to wash my brush. I'm just going to take some brown on my brush and I'm going to go over the edges with a little bit of dark brown. And this doesn't have to be perfect. It can be quite loose. So I'm going to also add a little bit of white to the edges of our drips of ice cream and just some down here. Then I'm going to wash off my brush, dry it and we're going to add some sprinkles. So I'm going to use pink for my top scoop of ice cream for my sprinkles but you can use any colour you want and we're just doing little strokes with the brush to give it that kind of sprinkly effect. And for my purple ice cream, I'm going to use a lighter colour on the purple so we'll be able to see it. So I'm going to go with some yellow. And then I'm going to wash my brush off and for my green, 
I'm going to use some purple sprinkles because we need a darker color for a, to go on top of a lighter color. And we're just making little dabs of sprinkles. So our last step, I'm going to add a little cherry here on the top. I have dried off my canvas again and I'm using my small brush to take some red for the cherry. And the cherry, you're not going to be able to see it all, so we're going to put it into the side of it here. But it's not going to be a full round shape. So along the bottom you can do a little wavy line to give the effect that it's sitting into the ice cream. So there's our little cherry. And I'm going to wash my brush. And I'm going to take a little bit of brown for the stem of the cherry. And we're just going to draw a little line coming out of the cherry at the top. And that's it for our ice cream painting. 